All right, y'all. Welcome to episode twenty-one. Let's see what trouble we get into today. You called for mandatory gastro bans for all large Americans, like anyone who's a little bit bigger than you at all. And you had a mandatory vegan diet. Our society focuses too much on being skinny. It's a conspiracy by the media. I'm happy with my size. Beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, and I think everybody should be accepted for who they are. Absolute nonsense! Get off my damn show! You're screwing up my shocker! If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's people screaming about how happy they are. I ain't about being happy, people. That ain't the point of nothing. Happiness can suck my fatty. It's about duality. Happiness and sadness, life and death, kindness and unkindness. That's why I called you fat. <laughs> okay. Because I love you. You understand? I yeah. called you fat because I love you. And that's why I lost my chakra <laughs> on Cheryl. Because she's my sister. That's why I Let's find Lionel a perfectly good producer because he was my brother, and that is why I am too. I'm awake, I'm asleep. I'm grown, I'm a child. I'm old man, and I'm afraid of death. I'm a sleeping baby. I hate it when people say they slept like a baby. Babies sleep like shit. Need a tin to get them through the night. Cheryl, I'm thinking about yours right now. I don't think you'd like mine. They're like really, really hairy. You got a pluck, girl. You nice. got. Talk to the shrink. Luck. Many a first day has been him. ruined when the first base is covered by reach. Touch my special place. Hey, we've talked about this. I'm not into you. I'm by, but this is so inappropriate for the workplace. What? My special place is inappropriate? My heart? I'll tell you what, touch my heart. Place your hand on my central solar plexus. Huh? Let me breathe deep. Oh, <sighs> <sighs> Damn, girl, what does that sound? No, come on, man! I just got that bite. Oh. That asshole took off my bite. Oh, oh shit! shit. You crazy You gotta go Bitch. cold turkey. Oh shit! Forgive oh, me. Heard oh. me. Oh. Heard a. You were uh, fucking around. Oh my lord! So, yeah. There we go. I'm done. <laughs> I'm an adult. I committed right. adultery, and I cheated on my tax returns, which are the fastest ways to feel grown up. Oh, that is such a touching story. We really do make a difference. That is true. There are many ways to get in tune with nature, and fraud, and mess around with your old lady are but two. Like a horny chameleon of love. Damn you fine, girl. Don't you think we should really be spiritual together? Making a beast with two backs? Look, I a cave picture over here on the wall. That's just two sticks. I mean, a bunch of lines. Right, if you're channeling your ancestors and that's really who's drawing this, they're terrible artists. Those lines. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life. I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat night? Take this seriously. Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity. You're such a fucking fuck. You really are. You'll get over it. You'll see. I did you a favor. Never. I hate you. Retreat at the Los Santos Civic Center. There's gonna be free parking, a vegan buffet, and all night homing. Oh, fuck sake. How would you think you got a good daughter? Yeah, <laughs> nobody thought that. Two days watching a hundred and twenty degree convention center with a bunch of other funny people. You're gonna have to make a lot of plans. Look inside yourself. Step outside yourself, right? Then cut a hole in yourself. Then look inside yourself with yourself. Look inside of the person you step out. Break ah. down the rules of society. Here. Oh, 
Am I in the right spot? You know, I actually have no idea. Let's just try this one. Ah, uh, okay, I found it. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. And we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turn things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you turned things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted <laughs> to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relay. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> There's been a radical shift in my fortunes, Doc. I may have been a fat, miserable slob on a sun lounger, but at least that was my choice. You know? I, mean, I made a mistake. A monumental mistake. A series of monumental mistakes. The house, stock market scam, jewelry store. And now, I'm playing gun thug for the FIB. Just to pass the time, you know, till Trevor figures out if he wants to kill me. Maybe my whole family. <laughs> out of control, no choice. These are things you tell yourself to justify your behaviors. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm... One person in the next minute, I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. Subject it. You listen to me, asshole. I never said I was perfect. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts. But I've been good. Ah, not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. 
And buddy, chin up, okay? You know, I, I don't know about y'all, but did you hear explosions or gunshots while we were in there? Nah, maybe that's just me. Could have sworn I heard that. Let's go! Fuck! World. He is an old relic of the bygone age. I like to. Alright, let's head to. I'm gonna head to the. Oh man, to the house this time. Oh, goodness. I think I got a little bit of heartburn. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Namaste. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, she's very center. A regular you oasis see what I of peace and tranquility, a this one. With anger issues and worse friends. No you? wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. <laughs> yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So, Fab, <laughs> if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? <sighs> Perhaps <laughs> to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now, here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin and put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Katasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. What the fuck is this shit? Okay. 
In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Out through those wrinkled lips. It's like watching one of my kids take their first steps. Only an old version I resent. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Wow, Michael. I never thought I'd see the day. Now, in through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. It moves! Amazing! This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, wow. <laughs> you feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. The silly man forgets to breathe. Let it out, baby. He's got great core strength for someone who's totally rotten there. Now, he breathes. Erect. Turgid. Hold it. Stroke it. You can breathe, can't you? Just exhale, Michael. How many years of marriage, and this is the first time he's taken an interest in my hobbies? Breathe, Mikkel. You feel that? Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children. Do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. Mike, would you? <laughs> Your core is very weak, Mikhail. Take in the air and release it. <laughs> Not bad. Your lungs, they work, yes? Very good. Now let it go. This is what I was talking about. Can't you see how blocked he is? Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Your aura is just like, wow. Out through the mouth. Hold the anus. Breathe, please, Michael. <laughs> Fabian's body with your bank account would be the perfect man. Take in the air and release it. <laughs> Let it go. We might be about to witness the first yoga-induced heart attack. <laughs> your lungs, they work, yes? <sighs> Tell me you don't feel centered. <sighs> You have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. <laughs> I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, 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 oh! What? Hey, enough of that! Wait, oh! Oh! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back. Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! Hand it! Bony! French! Fucking Yogi! 
Ah! <laughs> Jimmy! You still here? James! Fuck off! Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're... I'm talking in your ear. Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? Alright, come on. I wanna go for a ride. I gotta meet a friend. Alright, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I wanna get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on! This is <laughs> fucking bullshit! Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies! They're the only people you speak to! <laughs> oh, that's looking all nice and new. So where's your friend? Burger. Shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. <laughs> there he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, bro, man, what's man? up? How what's are you up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy! Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful man. with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. <laughs> we're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between-the-white-lines, friend-to-the-pedestrian <clears throat> kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Oh, man. <laughs> you fucking shit! Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. <laughs> really? This is not normal. Well, you're just paranoid. This is that paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. What is this? <laughs> I gotta stop. Oh, what was in there? It's harmless. Bet you've been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. I'm protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Goodbye. Jimmy! Fuck <laughs> this kid.
<laughs> Calling me a freak. Hey, that's what I needed. Oh wait, I need to uh, talk to you. <laughs> I need your car.
Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who was a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. <laughs> We've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! Well. Alright y'all, we're gonna call it episode, I'll see you next time.